everybody it's been a while since I did a video on what Jediism is and all those videos are kind of long and boring and really just poorly done so we're gonna try to do this as quickly as possible and still be informative and we are gonna answer what Jedi is within five questions what does Jediism mean what does Jediism entail where does the term come from what is the force and what resources are available to you. But I feel we should get into something a little bit more Jedi appropriate. So let's see what we can do. So we're going to talk about what Jediism is. What does it mean? What it means is someone who follows the philosophical and ideological concepts of the Jedi Knights of Star Wars in their everyday life. Or more simply put, it's world betterment through self-betterment wrapped up in Star Wars terminology and inspiration. Basically, it just comes down to people who want to live as a Jedi in everyday life in the most applicable, practical, beneficial, and positive way possible. What it comes down to, and it doesn't matter if you call it Jediism, Jedi realism, Jedi path, Jedi lifestyle, all of those are just labels that all mean that one thing. What does Jediism or the Jedi lifestyle entail? Well, we can look at the Jedi circle for this as it's kind of a summary of what the Jedi lifestyle entails. And it has the five practices, which is meditation, physical wellness, awareness, diplomacy, and self-discipline. It also has the five tenets, which is peace, knowledge, serenity, harmony, and the force. Then there's the five traits, which is patience, decorum, empathy, equity, and accountability. Then there's the five values, which is self-honesty, erudition, guidance, gratitude, and commitment. Then there's the five goals, which is proficiency, service, defense, create, and discover. And that's really what it entails. That's a really short version. That's a, that's a quick summary. It can get, we dig into that. You can look at our Jedi Circle video playlist for how in depth we can get into each topic there. Moving on to where the term came from, the term Jediism itself became popular in 2001 due to what is called the census phenomena, which happened where in 2001 various people around the world for the census listed Jedi as their religion. And the reasons are numerous. Some did it for a joke, some did it as a political stance, some did it as a, as a way to protest the government. Some did it because they do view it as a religion and some did it just for fun. Doesn't really matter why they did it, but the media latched on and the term Jediism took off. Before that, however, the Jedi community did exist, but it did not use the term Jediism. You found just Jedi. It was the Jedi path, the Jedi community, Jedi Knights. So the term Jediism sort of bore out of this big community hype and there needed to be kind of a separation from what the Jedi community was and then this statement or this movement that was happening around the world. Eventually, to where we are now, the terms have kind of all merged together so it doesn't really matter if you say Jediism, Jedi realism, Jedi lifestyle, Jedi path, Jedi philosophy, it all really means the same thing and we go back to that core of the Jedi circle and that's really where it comes from and that's that's really it it just comes from 2001 it wasn't really floating around or really used before that time next question is what is the force and the force is ineffable it is up to you it is about spiritual exploration it is about spiritual wellness what speaks to you what do you feel what do you experience what is your classification what is your definition 
it's a really open-ended way for us just to explore the universe, our place within it, and our own spiritual outlook. It is a word that's not tied with any baggage to it. Now, whether you equate the force with its own thing or something else, if you think it's maybe like the Tao, or maybe it's Chi, or maybe it's Mana, or maybe it's Prana, or maybe it's the Holy Spirit, or maybe it's simply that intuitive human experience it is just the five senses working off of what we are born with just the human brain the human experience maybe that's just what you view the force is it doesn't really matter it's for you to explore it's for you to define last question is what resources are available to you well your google search away or bing or whatever whatever search engine you want to use you're 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 that close you will find a resource of some kind whether or not it's a good resource I can't say I have my own criteria of what's good and it's a uh, it's actually pretty high is up to you there's plenty of resources around you can find them on discord you can find them on websites you can find them on Facebook you can find there it doesn't really matter you can find us here on YouTube hey uh, I'm a resource there are books out there there's videos out there you could use insight timer has Jedi meditations on it so just look explore dive into it that's all we all had to do it of course you could use this channel uh, you could become a patreon member if you want there's resources on our patreon page for you if you like it's a dollar a month that's a self plug all right everybody I hope that answers the question on what Jediism is thank you very much for watching as always, you know where the buttons are. May the Force be with you. Hey everybody, thank you for watching. This video was made possible by Patreons such as Charlie Daisy, Snark, Patrick, Giles Wheeler, Sammy, Christopher, Andro, Sergey, Corey, Anthony D, Gwen, Fox, Sean, Skull Cole, Agatha, Bear Qui-Gon, Adam, Joe Costa, and Ray Maria. Thank you, everybody. Of course, be with you.